<clears throat> okay, this movie actually didn't make it into my, my horror fest because it actually showed up on November 1st, so it's just past my horror fest. I heard really good things about Martyrs. You know, it is, it falls into the, uh, this weird category of French extreme horror films. And I'm thinking, pff, it's the French, how extreme can it be? But essentially, this has got two girls who essentially were orphans. One of them was brutally beaten as a child. I mean, like, chained to a chair, beaten, tortured, degraded. You know, I mean, this is just, you kind of go, ah, oh, it's kind of a rough to watch happen to a child. Then goes to an orphanage, and then after she leaves, she kind of goes on a meaning killing spree to get everybody who was part of her torture. And you kind of go, wow, that's that's actually pretty intense. And then they get kidnapped by a transcendental art cult. And this is where it takes a whole different, because the whole idea behind this art cult is they try to take people to the amount of uh, torture and pain that they hit a transcendental euphoria, almost in kind of a way of becoming part of the, the greater void and the beyond. Most people, of course, do not survive this. And of course, one of our main heroines does. She is, you know, like beaten, tortured for an indiscriminate amount of time, and then flayed while alive. They do a pretty solid job on the flaying scenes. And then essentially she's kind of like shackled and hanging there with the only skin left on her body surrounding her face. And the man who runs us then kind of, you know, finds out the, uh, the meaning between the whole like transcendental euphoria. You know, is there something that, that, that goes, that is uh, life after death? You know, what, what goes on past that? And the woman tells her that she knows what it is. Kind of. Right before the very end of the movie. So this is kind of one of those weird sort of out there movies where it's got a lot of violence. And it's actually going to be redone, remade in English. And it might have had Kristen, Kristen Stewart, the girl from Twilight. And I was like, if she's going to get flayed alive, I'm pretty sure that will be a great way to really push this movie on the American audiences. And it's weird seeing, you know, French do these, like, over-the-top, fairly bloody horror films. I also mentioned, too, that the main heroine is also kind of tortured by this weird, like, flayed skin, scar-covered ghoul. It's different. You know, this is very much a different sort of movie, and I'll be honest, it's actually pretty solid. Of course, it's entirely subtitled, so you will have to read along while people are getting beaten and towards the end of the movie, flayed alive. 